the first unit of your chemistry syllabus is the solid state which carries four marks okay so basically we will going to discuss uh, about uh, the nature of the solid state here okay and we have uh, some idea about states okay mainly how many states are there we know that there are total three states are there no one is solid state solid state you know liquid and gas okay so this actually state is depends upon what how we actually divide these states we differentiate this state um, according to or by using what the interaction between the constituent particles that means the particles which we which will going to be uh, used to form that uh, state okay so let's suppose in case of solid state the particles which are in that solid state will be at some fixed positions okay so they are they will be at what at a fixed positions they cannot move okay they cannot move freely understand they cannot move freely but they can vibrate okay the thing is that this uh, molecule uh, this you know constituent particle can uh, you know vibrate or oscillate about their mean positions but they cannot move freely from this position to the other positions okay so actually this is actually this uh, behavior of uh, you know uh, that it, it this constituent particle cannot move now this behavior actually gives the rigid behavior or rigid or parties of the solid okay so in case of liquid we know that uh, actually this liquid and gas okay so these two are actually considered as fluids okay f l u i d s okay what is fluids why we call them fluids because they can flow okay because this liquid and gas can flow okay so, so why they can flow because the actually the in case of liquids if you take a glass of liquid okay let's suppose water then actually the water molecules are you know the distance between the water molecules are you know if you if you measure the distance between the two water molecules okay let's suppose the distance between this one and this one then the distance will be higher than the distance of this one okay so there will be less interaction or less attraction force uh, in case of liquid than solid state okay so they can move freely even in case of gas in case of gas the distance between the actually the distance between the particles that means the constituent particles are very very high as a result they can flow easily okay or they can um, actually actually the nature of the fluid properties or the flow properties is higher in case of gas than liquid understand so actually we uh, have uh, this idea uh, from you know um, previous studies uh, from the you know class 11 actually we know these things okay but here we will basically focus on we're going to focus on this uh, solid state okay and we, uh, we we actually we are surrounded by the solid uh, solid you know materials like you know any any solid wood wooden piece okay it may be a wooden piece it may be a plastic okay it may be a piece of uh, rock okay all are solid state but here um, in this uh, chapter we will basically discuss about uh, the nature of uh, the solid state okay and uh, how they uh, actually the bonding occur between the constituents atoms or how they form the crystal and what is actually crystal lattice or what is the unit shell okay and what is the void 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 that means the you know some you know empty space are there okay in between some uh, some constituent particle sometimes some empty space may be there and that how how much boil points are there in different types of solids okay so we have to calculate this type of things in this chapter okay and additionally also we have to calculate or we have to you know study about the impurities in a solid state okay and uh, if you uh, actually let's suppose this is your uh, crystal okay so here suppose the all the constituent particles are same let's suppose sodium 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 that means it's a pure sodium crystal but sometimes what happened one sodium may be replaced from uh, one side <coughs> by some other um, 
other you know atoms like chloride or something some other okay then it will behave like what impurity or sometimes what happens some um some you know some atom will actually missing from this site so we also have to uh, study about that defects and ex and uh, their effects and their effects on their properties that means sometimes the conductivity is increasing because of that defect okay so we're going to discuss in detail about these things okay the first objective of this chapter is to understand the general characteristics of solid states and uh, from you know the study of the class 11 we have already uh, you know some idea about the you know matters the states actually we know that there are mainly three types of states not the solid state liquid state and gas states and actually the stability of the states is depends upon mainly two factors okay before going to that uh, two factors uh, we know that the water uh, water can exist as a solid you know ice form okay liquid normal water okay liquid water and gases gaseous form which is vapor okay so but the stability of the uh, state that means whether it will going to become an ice or it will become a liquid state or it will become a vapor okay so it is depends upon mainly two factors and the two factors are you know the two factors are the first one is your intermolecular molecular force of attraction okay force of attraction okay and the second one is your <coughs> thermal energy thermal energy and they are actually this actually these forces are opposite you know so this actually this intermolecular force of attraction they try to arrange you know the constituent particles that means the molecules or the atoms or ions in ordered way and this thermal energy actually try to uh, you know they try to Dearrange or they try to uh, destabilize the system. Okay, so we can understand this by taking an example of a cup of water, okay, or, or a glass of water. So let's suppose this is ice. Let's suppose this is ice, okay, at zero degree, zero degree Celsius. So when we increase the temperature, then thermal energy is going to increase. So as a result, what the intermolecular force of attraction is going to decrease. As a result, it will become you know in liquid form understand so if we further apply some extra amount of heat energy that means the thermal energy will going to again uh, going to increase then the intermolecular force of attraction is going to again decrease more no? so then it will become the vapor state at, a, at some uh, temperature okay at some fixed temperature thus from this uh, study we able to know that the stability of the states that means whether the substance will be st stable at their you know in their solid state or in their liquid state or in their gaseous state is depends upon what depends upon the intermolecular force of attractions and the thermal energy okay so in case of solid actually the intermolecular intermolecular force of attraction is high okay so the intermolecular force of attraction is very high for solid in comparison to the liquid and gases that's why they are in ordered form okay that's why they they are they have a fixed shape okay they have some fixed shape or they have some de definite masses or definite volume okay so that's uh, that means what we can say so we have one properties that means we have one characteristics so characteristics of solid okay so we have solid states let's suppose solid states so that means we have one characteristics which is what the solid state the solid state have the solid states have or they have or the solids have you can say the solids have definite mass 
एन आई टी डेफिनिट मास और डेफिनिट वॉल्यूम एंड शिप शिप ओके एंड फिक्स शिप सो वाई दे दिस आर दे हैव फिक्स शिप बिकॉज यू नो द इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ एटेक्शन इज वेरी हाई डेट मीन्स दे विल गोइंग टू यू नो दे विल गोइंग टू be like this one okay they have some fixed shape okay because their inter ionic attractions are very high na? so they will be uh, arranged like this way okay so they will going to have some fixed points they will not going to move randomly so that means this this only this you know this uh, molecule or this ions or this atom this may be anything okay this this particle may be anything okay this may be molecules this may be atoms or may, this may be ions okay so they cannot actually move freely because they have higher intermolecular attraction what is intermolecular attraction intermolecular attraction is the, actually the attraction between the molecules intermolecules huh? molecules so intermolecular attraction so these are very high so they have some fixed shape okay fixed volume and a definite mass so the first characteristic is done okay so this is the first characteristics of solid states okay so i hope you understand the first characteristic the second characteristics is actually that inter molecular distance distances are short okay so the intermolecular distances are short we already know that because they have in the higher force of attractions if the force of attractions are higher then they will be close to each other no? let's suppose they these are two molecules okay so if the intermolecular force of attractions are high that means the attraction between these two are very high then what will you happen this molecule and this molecule will be close to close to each other no? they will be close to each other okay let's suppose there are many three four particles are there so they are close to each other understand so that means this molecule that suppose these are uh, far from each other okay in case of liquid so if that means in liquid the intermolecular force of attraction is not so high so they can be far from each other but in case of solid they will be close to each other okay they will be close to each other understand so that that's why here the second characteristics is what the intermolecular distances are short okay and the third point is your the uh, intermolecular force it is strong we already know this points we already understand this point okay intermolecular intermolecular forces see yes okay forces are strong okay and the fourth one is this is already we already understand this one right? why the intermolecular force of attraction are strong because actually these two determines the intermolecular force of attraction and the other one is what the thermal energy will going to determine the stability of that state now so we have, we have already understand this one so the fourth one is actually their constituents particles it may be atoms it may be molecules or it may be ions have fixed positions and can only oscillate about their mean positions so what is the meaning of this that means so they have so let's suppose this they let's suppose one crystal okay so let's suppose one crystal so they these constituents particles or these constituents you know particles may be sometimes molecules or maybe sometimes atoms or maybe sometimes ions in case of strong electrolytes always remember that uh, these uh, constituents particles are in always in ionic form okay sodium chloride like sodium positive and chloride they are always in ionic form here sodium positive chloride 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 like that okay so we're going to discuss this in details uh, yeah, you know but uh, try to re remember this one okay in case of strong electrolytes the constituents particles are always ionic form okay so they have actually fixed positions that means the so, uh, let's suppose this is your sodium okay sodium positive so that sodium positive would be always this sodium positive will always be at this position they will be not going from this position to the other positions freely okay because they are interactions that means the intermolecular attractions uh, with the other constituents are very very high okay understand so they have a fixed 
positions that means they are in ordered form okay understand so now the fifth uh, and the final characteristics of solid state is they are incompressible and rigid so this is a very interesting point okay so they are incompressible so we cannot compress them further because we have already know that they, they are inter ionic attractions they, they are inter molecular the intermolecular force of attractions are very very high na? so we cannot further compress them because it is already this one already touched with this one this one already touched with this one na? so we cannot further compress this one if we further try to compress this one then what is going to happen there will be some repulsion because of the presence of the nucleus okay this is the there will be some electrons na? outer outermost electrons let's suppose this is your outermost electrons okay positive and there are some electrons would be there ne? let's suppose these are some electrons two electrons let's suppose these two electrons okay so when if you try to again you know uh, try to uh, compress them you cannot compress because there will be some repulsion between the nucleus which are positively charged no? so we can compress them up to a limit okay so that's why they are in incompressible and they are rigid in nature understand so this actually four points uh, actually these four points are actually the characteristics of a solid state hope you understand uh, this all characteristics of solid states so try to remember this one actually try to understand this one okay not remember try to understand okay actually this all the characteristics is coming from only two points okay the one is what inter intermolecular intermolecular force of attraction force of attraction and the second one is your thermal energy okay thermal energy so if this is high then the intermolecular force of attraction is high then only the solid state is stable or the solid state is the stable form okay of that uh, material or of, of that substance understand so hope you understand this uh, uh, you know uh, the characteristics of the solid states so the next class we're going to uh, study 